Hi, it's Joanne. Today I'm going to be watching Star Wars Rebels Season 4, Episode 3, In the Name of the Rebellion, Part 1. Lots of two-parters at the end, which is very stressful because a lot happens in them. I'm guessing we're going to be back with the Rebellion. I don't know whether that means that our crew members are going to be all back or whether it's kind of just going to be seeing Sabine and Zeb and what the Rebellion are up to for Sabine here at Hera and Zeb and what they're up to at the time. I am excited regardless. A reminder that, as always, you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance, and let's go. We're coming up on Yavin 4. I wonder what this Rebel Sabine's back like with the Rebellion for now. Compared. No, Chop. Hera said you're getting an oil bath when we get there. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> so many different ships and people. There are cells it's a real Rebellion. Every corner of the galaxy. There she is, coming in hot with what's left of her squadron. Oh my goodness! What kind of a mission were they on? Don't worry, she's got it. When we're gonna worry because we love her, but she's got it. Oh, she made it. No, <laughs> my astromech didn't make it. What? Chopper! Boy, I could have used you on this mission, buddy. Captain! Are you all right? Poor Astromech. I'm glad you have seen worse landings. Yep. Your family's home. Right now, my family here needs me more. Well, I'm glad to have you. Poor family are back. Funny enough work to go around. How nice. That's commander. I genuinely always recognize I knew his voice and I was like, oh my goodness. Time to Oh Ken. I mean, with his hair down, he looks less like Ken, but he's always going to be Ken. Because Guerrera has absolutely no qualms about how he acquires it. Well, if he gets results, we no. don't mistreat our prisoners. Yes. Wait, that's it? Well, what about Lothal? Ezra, now's not the time. They were about if to launch now, their when? mission. Aren't we promised my... What are the thousands of other worlds who need us? I mean, it's true. Yeah, but you gotta start somewhere. We would send help. First of all, you have to start somewhere. Second of all, there is a very important military, like, factory base on the thought that we at the very least should be taken out. They're not doing nothing, not helping with all out of callous reasons, but what is that droid doing? He just fights. As yes, well. and people get hurt. Fight. It's it's how we choose to fight that matters. I know, Kanan. Maybe we're choosing the wrong way. That doesn't mean Saul's way is right, though. Torture is bad. And... Members of the Alliance to restore the Republic. Saw. Jesus Christ. Rebellion refused. And you torture people. Our allies in the Senate have hope of a peaceful resolution to this conflict. There isn't going to be a moment. Unless the Senate votes Palpatine out and Palpatine goes? You target civilians. Kill those who surrender. Break every rule of engagement. If we do... I don't agree necessarily with the, oh, maybe there'll be a peaceful thing and now let's just sit here and wait strategy. Although I do also think that potentially we have learned that we might need a bit more time to build up our forces before we attack. But also, yeah, slaughtering innocent people is bad and I would rather be with them. You will find some comfort in the knowledge that you fought according to the rules. Yes, not murdering innocents and civilians. Ezra, he's murdering innocents, murdering people that surrender, mur torturing people. These are not good. You're not seeing the bigger picture. If we destroy the relay, the Empire will just build another one. This way, we can use it to stay one step. It's kind of like what Thrawn did when he knew who Fulcrum was. It's not. This won't cripple the Empire by doing this, but I do think in the long term, having something on the inside. To be honest, if they could also like plant not only a bug, but something that we could manually, like remotely even destruct would be useful, but this won't hurt the Empire. It and won't what they did to my squadron. That's all I want. But this will help us in the long term. Go straight at them and blow that relay right off the map. And they'll build another one. That's Guerrero talking. Having this relay 
using it in the way that they're planning on doing could save so many lives in the long run. Blowing it up will set the Empire back by a couple months at most. The things I do is what that boy was saying. Oh my god! <laughs> He's just flipping! I don't like this. Me neither. Too fast. Crash. E. Ah. Dropper? That could have been worse. <laughs> My Is baby. Guys, you've got an Imperial ship headed in your direction. Of course. Okay, isolate the secondary <laughs> Tough in and then was like, I'm ready. Installing the spy. Run a bypass. Connect that ship to the outpost commander now. Chopper, give me comm control. I've got an idea. Ezra. You weren't scheduled to arrive until the next rotation. What is his accent, oh, child? Lots of difficulties for us. But Commander Brom Titus. Is this some kind of a joke? I am Commander Brom Titus. <laughs> an explanation. Realigning the dish. Oh God. Shot. Jesus Christ. Well, at this point, yes, we may as well blow it up. And then when they build another one, bug that one. Launch our new fighters to intercept. Oh, God. Chopper, make it go spin spin? I mean, chaos. He's in his element. Her turn to save him. Go down into the fog. How's she gonna see in the fog? She won't have to. I will. Oof. I must really trust you. Turn to point three. This is trust. Find the point five. One Watch down. Out. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. It's moving to attack position. God, is this Guerrero? Because he would want to destroy the thing as well. Hey. I wouldn't think too long. Those charges are on a real short fuse. Did you check if there was anybody else in on the thing that needed to come? Yeah, you're not going after them. There are different approaches to fighting this rebellion. But you know, we actually initially had a plan. Ezra, Sabine, are Hold your position, Nuguera gonna... has some points, but his methods are disgusting. Oh god. Well, let's leave and just pick a rendezvous point. Besides, they might enjoy fighting with a real army for a change. Guerrera, return the this is kidnapping! Of... Unless you two have... Get us out of here. I mean, I get it, but they could be like, we'll meet you at point three five eight in the XY center. Mm-hmm. Oh, same. I don't doubt that Sol Guerrero cares about the idea of the rebellion and wants the rebellion to succeed and wants to overthrow the empire. I think he also quite wants a bit of personal glory, but his methods are, if we have learned from this episode, he is targeting civilians, not just kill being okay with killing civilians. He is killing people who have surrendered. He is torturing people for information. He's the Empire Mark II. Like, yes, maybe the Empire is here and evil and he is here. But then he's rising every day. Um, some of what he said about maybe the Rebellion is being too cautious. But at the same time, with a wider Rebellion with so many different lives, you can't afford to just kamikaze it every time. Just go in and fight and fight and fight because it's a long-term war. Both sides have merits. What they need to do is come together and talk it out and come to a compromise. Although... Saw where murdering innocent people should go to prison. Um, I don't like him. I haven't liked him 
since we last saw him. His methods are disgusting. Yes, I do think there is an argument to be had that the rebellion is currently being too cautious and maybe they should be going at it. You know, like when Phoenix Squadron was in desperate straits and then um, my Mothma was like, oh, sorry, we, we, we can't risk an army, can't come by. I don't agree with that. I understand it, but I still think she should have sent somebody because that's the whole point of this rebellion is we look out for each other and protect each other and we try and inspire hope across the galaxy. I can see why they want to try and take a step back and just survive, build up the forces again. But when we need to start doing attacks, whether those attacks are big, full-fledged attacks, or whether those attacks are small, like, little targeted missions, because the Empire is coming. The Empire aren't going to be like, oh, well, the Rebels haven't launched any big missions recently, so I think we should stop looking for the Rebellion. <laughs> because most of the um, Empire people are evil, posh British people. Um, so just kind of doing nothing doesn't isn't the right call either i do think after what happened with phoenix quadrant we maybe do need to take a moment to rebuild our forces rebuild our supplies you know and reassess what we're going to do next now we're not just going to lethal because it happens to be ezra's home and a place that's important to our rebels yes that is a part of it but there is also that facility there that is you that is being used to design and create and produce weapons now yes it is true that if you destroy a ship from the empire they will just build another one they've already got another one half built three quarters built but if you can wipe out their factories it will become harder and harder for them that's what they need to start doing tactical missions to certain locations and you have to pick somewhere to start where do we start well you have to start somewhere so while Saw has some points his way he's going about it invalidates every single argument he makes i would far rather be part of the cautious rebellion than his rebellion i'm worried because ezra is sorely tempted by this we've seen him be tempted in the past by sort of seeming easy solutions he's young um when you're young it's easy to sort of think that's the right answer um i'm worried about where saw is going to go because the right thing for him to do would be to be like um i think he knows where their base is because he's like met he sent the droid and everything to be to like literally drop them off and be like I'm not a babysitting service but there you go um but instead i feel like he's going to take them on some kind of a shenanigan and hopefully we'll see ezra realizing the true nature of how he wants to fight and the right way to fight and maybe finally somebody showing saw the right way to do it i don't know sabine choosing to be with this family because you know on mandalore she is just one more fighter um yeah she's an extremely skilled fighter but at the end of the day she's just one more person i think i love i think i love that she's with this family she has both families that family's doing okay right now she's here where she needs to be i'm very stressed for the next episode i love chopper a reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my patreon two weeks in advance it'll do version one week in advance and thank you so much for watching